I don't know if you know this, but that physical touch, it can strengthen those emotional bonds with other people. But here is the trick. Being able to not cross the line with being this sexual harassment touchy creep and still being able to touch a woman to increase that sexual tension. Today, boys, not only am I gonna show you how to not cross the line, I'm also gonna show you what areas of the body you should be touching on a woman to increase that emotional connection with her and drive her insane. Turn her on. Bro, let's hop in. First of all, let's talk about how not to cross the line. See, most of you, when you're with the woman, you don't even know how to act, right? You're acting all weird, all tight. You don't wanna touch her because you're feeling awkward. I don't want you to be that guy. You need to be dominant without being a freaking creep. How do you do that? You gotta learn how to read body language, bro. Like, this is the simplest thing. If you see a girl pull away, wince, flinch, or almost like a gag reflex, this is a very blatant sign that she A, thinks you're coming on too aggressive, or B, doesn't like you. Either way, just pull back, bro. Why go through that rejection? Which takes us on to the first point you wanna touch on a woman. It's her hand. See, the hands on almost anybody, through a study, they were shown that the hands is the one area that everybody is okay with being touched. In other words, like a handshake, etc. So, if you want to start touching a woman, the best way to do it is when you introduce yourself by touching your hands. You have officially broken that touch barrier and gotten one step closer. Now, yes, you're still in a very, very deep friend zone, but you've broken that barrier. Another form of touching is an elbow tap. This is maybe just to get her attention. Maybe if she's flipped around you and you're in a loud bar or whatever it is, Either of those are a great way to get started with touching. Number two, see, as we go, each body part's gonna get more intense. And this is because as you're in conversation, you want the conversation to get deeper and stronger. That's how you start turning her on. You wanna do that by touching the shoulder region. See, this shoulder and collarbone region is filled with a lot of sensations for a girl. So when you're in conversation with her and you touch any of these areas, I guarantee you, it's gonna send chills down her spine. Now, when you can deploy this touch is specific. See, let's say you're in conversation and you want to make an emphasis on something or you're both laughing or she said something funny that's an easy way to reach over and touch her shoulder again always be aware and alert while you're slowly increasing that sexual attraction you're also reading her body language if she pulls back you're coming on too strong it's time to pull out number three it's face touching see most guys literally end up there like dead fish when they're making out with the girl and they leave the girl to do all the work and all the controlling you gotta understand that when you are more in a dominant position women tend to be more turned on so when you start making out with the girl let's say you are in the kissing stage already you want to implement face touching this is when you actually lightly grab her face not only does this put you in a dominant position it also allows you to control the tempo speed and movement of the making out session which puts you in control and ensures that you're a better kisser and then if you mix this in with minty fresh breath which I've talked about before actually having fresh breath you're gonna send literal chills down her spine this girl's gonna be filled with butterflies in her stomach which means what does this mean listen to your dentist brush those teeth Floss, clean that tongue like Brother Jose tells you so when the time comes, you're ready to go. As a matter of fact, I want you to go to He Grooming and pick up a toothbrush. We dropped our new toothbrush a few weeks ago and this thing literally flew off the shelf. See, we came out with three grooming products for men. Every single grooming product has one goal in mind make you look better and sexier. Well, one of them was our electric toothbrush. See, everything else sold out. We only have a few toothbrushes left and I don't want you to miss it because like last time, it could take months till we restock and I want you to be ready and on point. See, this toothbrush, not only does it have 34,000 RPM, which basically means that as you're brushing your teeth, you're getting 34,000 strokes every single minute to ensure that your teeth are not only white, but also fresh and minty. The cool part is that on the flip side, we added a tongue scraper. That way you can use that same power to clean the tongue because this is the area that smells the most. When you have bad breath, it's usually because you're not cleaning your tongue properly. Well, our toothbrush ensures that you clean your tongue properly. And like I said, this thing is flying. I don't want you guys to miss it. We only have a few brushes left before the entire store is sold out. So if you guys want to pick up a solid toothbrush, so next time you make out with the girl, you're on point, click that link down below and check us out. Number four, the mid back. This one, 
This one, this one's good. See, this one you want to do right underneath her shoulder blades, right in the middle of the back. Look, and if things are going good, you can feel that energy. She's, she's really vibing with you. I want you to go a little bit lower to the lower back. Don't go all the way down because now you're a freaking dog, but just on, the, on that crevice of the lower back, yo, the chills that you will send down her spine, and this can be easily done. Say you're bringing her in for a hug or you're leading her through a crowded bar or restaurant, that's when you do it, bro. This girl, she's gonna be like putting in your hand. She's gonna be completely melted because the dominance it takes to actually have the courage to do that, again, you have to be savvy. You must have watched this video to be able to pull that off. And finally, number five, I left this one for last because this is, this is if everything's gone right, she has not pulled back, she still hasn't called you a creep or she's uncomfortable with you, everything is going solid. You want to do the mid-thigh touch. This is probably the most sexual touch you can do. You can do this one when you're both sitting down, obviously, and you want to touch her right from the mid-thigh to the knee. Anything higher up, again, now you're just a dog. But that area, you caress it gently, and you can do this in mid-conversation. Again, she could say something funny, or things can get very intense where you both stay quiet and just look at each other for like two seconds. Yo, the power that you're gonna feel here. Again, the mood has to be right, the setting has to be right. Don't do this while you're in freaking class, because again, you will end up being a pedo. You have to have done this after after layers of touching, after layers of engaging and interacting and flirting, you pull this move out, forget about it. You won already. You have won. You have sealed the bag. Dare I say, this could be more powerful than a kiss. If you do it right, the chills that you will send down her leg, bro, yeah, that's gonna turn her on. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are five areas on a woman's body that you should learn how to touch properly. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, boys, don't forget to check out our brand, He Grooming. If you want to stay groomed, you want to stay sexy, yeah, click that link down below. That's it for me today. See you next time.